Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. So I often get asked this question, how do you pocket balls down the rail? And I think the myth a little bit with this is, is that you can get caught up in that it's, it's different to any other pot. In my mind, I treat it just the same. Now, I understand the theory of you can use some spin to maybe help the ball into the pocket, but you've got to imagine as well, you know, I'm trying to appear to the masses here of the best way to pocket this ball. And primarily, the speed really is the key to this. Because the softer that you hit the ball towards the pocket, the more chance the pocket has got accepting the ball. Simply, the firmer, the harder, the quicker it races at the pocket, you're giving yourself less probability of making it because you've got to be so much more accurate. Another tip here is, particularly if we're playing eight ball pool as we're demonstrating here, we know that the cue ball is smaller than the object ball. So when a ball is touching the rail uh, with this cue ball, we have to hit the object ball slightly before we hit the rail to make the ball. And if you've ever played snooker in the past where both balls are the same size, which I'm going to demonstrate here, then effectively that being the cue ball, then both balls are the same size. And what that means is if you hit the cushion and the rail both at the same time, you will make the ball. If you hit the rail and the ball, if you hit the, the, the rail and the ball at the same time with this cue ball, you will in fact actually miss the ball because the center of this cue ball against the rail is not hitting the center of the yellow ball. It's impossible because they're both different sizes. So effectively, rail and ball at the same time with an eight ball pool cue ball actually overcuts the object ball because you're actually hitting it too thin. Now you'd think it would be impossible to hit it too thin if it's touching the rail, but it would because this ball is smaller. So effectively, you're actually finding the angle to overcut the ball. If we then go back to what this ball would perceive to be if both balls were the same size with the rail and the object ball, we're now not overcutting the ball because the centre of this ball is hitting the centre of this ball and both balls are flush onto the side rail. So with that said, a tip for potting balls down the rail is not only the speed control of the shot, meaning you give it more probability of dropping if you are a little bit inaccurate, but we've also got to accept that we play on different tables and different equipment. This is actually a Sam Leisure table. The cloth's brand new, it's beautiful, it'll go in very nicely, you know, it's, it, 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 it's dead straight, it's been leveled, you know, to perfection. What you're going to find in your pubs or even some of your tables at home, that even being incredibly accurate on a ball down the rail, it's not to suggest it's going to go in, unfortunately, because, you know, the, the table may drift or whatever else. So in that, with that in mind, you do want to hit it a little bit firmer to try and counteract that that might happen. But as I said, you play in a pub situation and a ball is on the rail. We don't even know if the table is going to be straight. With all that said, how would I pocket this ball down the rail with the cue ball in this position? I would simply just try and play it as softly as I can and ease it down the cushion so the probability, if I'm a little bit inaccurate to what the actual exact potting angle is, it allows the ball to drop and still fall in. So, with that said, I'm going to attempt to play it. I'm going to leave this here as a connecting ball for when I'm going to pop the ball down the rail. So, if I now approach the table, I'm going to play centre ball and pocket the ball down the rail. Now, what I've done is... I've left this ball in my, in my pattern play as my connecting ball so that I can just ease that ball down the rail. Now, if I was to have to hit that ball a lot firmer, it would be much, much more difficult to, to pocket. So really, in this video, I'm just concentrating on saying to you guys that the softer that you play the ball and the nice and easier that you play it, the more the pocket is going to accept it. Albeit, we are playing on a beautiful brand new table that does accept balls down the rail with ease and there's no drift on the table at all. Now, given the fact that we're now having to work the cue ball and do something with the cue ball, and now you notice that I slightly put the ball off the rail, now this really comes down to timing. Because if I need to work the cue ball and I need to get the cue ball elsewhere into this area, for example, well, now I've got to hit this cue ball as nice and as softly as possible 
to so the pocket still accepts the ball, but also get the cue ball back out into play. It's not an easy thing to do. It's really technique and it's really down to timing. So in this instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the cue ball at six o'clock on the cue ball, play it nice and sweetly, and try and get as much momentum at the cue ball as I can, but actually without firing the yellow ball at the pocket to give the pocket every chance of accepting the ball. So six o'clock on the cue ball. And back out into play. And as I said, because the table's playing so nice and the rails are playing so good, the cloth is brand new, I wasn't ultra accurate there, but because I ate it so softly and so smoothly, the pocket was still happy to accept the ball. If I was playing that shot and I was firing it fiercely at the pocket, and I would have contacted the same point on the rail before it in the pocket, it would have never have gone in. So I'm going to try and demonstrate effectively how I'm going to miss the ball by being that little bit inaccurate and hitting it too firm. So we're going to try and set it up exactly the same again, but now I'm really going to fire the ball at the pocket in an attempt actually to miss it to demonstrate to you what happens. So exactly like that. It was because I've hit it so, you know, way, way, way too hard to try and get the cue ball across the other side of the table and therefore I wasn't accurate enough to make it at the speed I was hitting it at the pocket and it just rattled and come away. The previous shot was hit so much nicer and, 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 and so much easier that even though I did actually catch the rail first, it still went in. So in terms of the rail potting, a couple of things. One, a lot of it's mental and psychological. It's the same pot as everything else. You find the potting angle, you hit it at the pocket. Give it at every chance that you can by hitting it nicely and slowly and do yourself a favour by having a connecting ball. Therefore you can actually just ease it down the rail and you don't have to work anything with the cue ball. The more that you have to work the cue ball or the firmer that you hit it, the more accurate you have to be. Hope that has covered potting balls down the rail. Hope to see you in the next video. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. See you in the next one.